Equalizer APO is a super useful software, especially if you make videos or you're a streamer or you have a lot of audio devices. So why is Equalizer APO so useful? Well, it's a system-wide equalizer. Example, you stream and record using OBS and you found some really good EQ settings for your microphone. But you also want that same voice quality for, say, talking to someone on Discord or going live on YouTube. You're looking for a system-wide solution that's going to ensure your voice quality is good no matter which software you're speaking into. And it doesn't stop there. You can set different EQ settings for each and every device you have on your system. It can be really helpful to have a set of EQ settings dedicated to gaming on your headset with another set of EQ settings for general purpose use on your speakers, all while having another set of EQ settings for your microphone. And not only is the software completely free, it's also compatible with the Reaper VST plugins. Download the software, link in description. Run through the installer until you get to a screen like this. Select the audio devices you would like Equalizer APO to be installed to, and don't worry, we can always change this later. Once you've selected your audio devices, the installer will ask for a reboot. After you've restarted Windows, you should see that there's a configurator and a configuration editor installed. The configurator is what allows us to install and uninstall EQAPO to our audio devices as we did during the installation. The configuration editor is where we can make EQ adjustments to our audio devices. You should see a default config called config.txt. First, let's remove these default filters by hitting the little red minus sign on each filter. Click on new to create a new config. Then click the green plus sign to add a new device. Select the device you want to add EQ settings to and then save that config and give it a name that makes sense. Now I'll go back to config.txt and include your newly created one. You can do this by clicking the green plus, going to control, and then include, and selecting the config file you just created. Now you can test if EQAPO is actually working by adding a preamplification to the config you just created. Play a video off of YouTube or something in the background and just move the preamplification up and down. You should hear the volume getting louder and quieter as you adjust the knob. You can also tell by going back to the main config.txt and hitting the power button to toggle the filter on and off. You can apply the same principle to testing a microphone. Create a config with a mic, include the microphone as a device, and then add a preamplification. Turn the preamp way down and record your voice, then turn it way up and record your voice and you should hear a difference. Testing, testing, one, two, three. 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 Now that you know it's working, you can begin to add and adjust filters as needed. Here you can have a look at my settings. I have EQ settings for my speakers that I use for music and watching videos. I have a separate set of EQ settings for my earbuds that I use for gaming and yet another set of settings for my microphone so that my voice sounds buttery smooth. And for pretty much all of these, I use the VST plugins. It's pretty easy. You just hit the same green plus sign that you did before, but this time you navigate down to plugins and then VST plugins. Hit this little folder button and then navigate to wherever you have the VST plugins installed and select the one you want to use. That's it. You successfully installed Equalizer APO and I'm proud of you. The next step is all on you to go full sound nerd and figure out what the best audio settings are for you. Good luck to you and thanks for watching.